Good morning. Here I have uh, come with a new topic. Actually, it is not new. Already I have posted two videos from the chapter of viscous flow. Okay. So what was uh, uh, discussed in the last two videos? Uh, those were uh, shear stress distribution and velocity distribution uh, for a for the case of the pipe flow. Of course, the flow was taken to be viscous, that is uh, viscous and as well as laminar. And you know that uh, the flow remains laminar as long as the Reynolds number of the flow uh, remains less than 2000. Okay, so here we are dealing with the same case and with, an, uh, with what? Actually, what is this formula? Can you question the formula? What is this formula here? For a given length of the pipe, we are going to calculate or we are going to derive the expression for loss of pressure head. Okay, loss of pressure head for a given length of the pipe. The expression for loss of pressure head for a given length of the pipe is known as uh, Hagen Poisson formula. Okay, so suppose this is the pipe. This is the pipe. Okay. This is the pipe and this is the direction of flow, the x direction, direction of flow, okay. And, uh, and uh, you take two cross sections, this is cross section 1, this is cross section 2, okay. This is 1 and this is 2, two cross sections we have taken and here uh, from some reference axis, uh, suppose from this line, this distance is x1. Okay, and this distance is how much? It is x2. And uh, the distance between cross sections 1 and 2, this is taken to be L. Okay, L. So obviously from here, you can easily say that L is equal to nothing but x2 minus x1. L is equal to this length x2 minus x1. Okay, so length is what? Length is the distance between the two sections. Okay, section number one and section number two. So location is here x1, here location is x2. Right. And uh, here at section one, pressure is uh, P1, velocity is V1. At section two, pressure is P2, velocity is V2, like that. Okay. Okay. And uh, in the last class, uh, uh, where maximum velocity ratio of maximum velocity to average velocity were, uh, was discussed there you can see that uh, the average velocity the expression for average velocity was equal to 1 by 8 mu into minus del p del x into r square where r is what where r is radius of the pipe okay arrow sign should have carrier uh, where R is the radius of the pipe. So R was the radius of the pipe in that expression. It was what? Average velocity. Average velocity was what? That was equal to the total discharge through the cross section of the pipe divided by the area of the pipe. Okay, that concept was used to calculate the average velocity. So here, using this expression for average velocity, we are going to calculate uh, loss of pressure head between section 1 and 2. Okay, and that expression is known as Hagen Poisson formula. So, using this, we can easily write that in the next line we can write minus uh, del p del x is there. So, you write this way minus del p del x is equal to what? It is equal to 8 mu u bar, 8 mu u bar divided by r square. Right? We can write this way. Okay. Then, uh, in the therefore P, P this can be written as what? It is equal to minus, not P exactly, first you write dp. First you uh, write this dp and this is equal to this minus sign will be there and therefore here you can write 8 mu u bar, this is u, okay, and divided by r square 
and this x dx will appear here this negative sign i have written here okay and you uh, integrate from section 2 to section 1 okay from section 2 to section 1 we are integrating okay this is not the numerical value of pressure 2 and 1 and this is not the numerical value of x 2 and 1 2 and 1 are denoting sec number of section uh, section number okay so here 1 is denoting section number 1 and this 2 is denoting section number 2 and in the right hand side also same thing okay here you can see r is a constant mu is a constant u bar that is the average velocity that is also constant so in the right hand side only one variable is there and that is x okay and in the left hand side only p is there so what will be the integration integration in the uh, left hand side is what it is p1 minus p2 okay and in the right hand side it is equal to since this is constant so this can be taken outside the integral sign and after that here you will get what x so it will be x1 minus x2 okay you have already seen here that x2 minus x1 is equal to l so this minus of x1 minus x2 that is equal to l okay so therefore and uh, so and what here p1 minus p2 this is equal to 8 mu u bar this is bar divided by and r is what that is equal to half of the diameter diameter of the pipe so let us write here d by 2 whole square of d by 2 and this is l right so l is what l is x2 minus x1 and you can see that there is minus of x1 minus x2 that is actually x2 minus x1 and that has been replaced by here l so p1 minus p2 is equal to this much now you divide both sides of this by rho g so let us see uh, okay the lower portion is visible there is no problem so i am writing somewhere here uh, divide both sides of this uh, the next line appears here okay in the right hand side so p1 minus p2 divided by rho g okay and uh, this is equal to what if you divide that way 432 right uh, it becomes 32 4 into 8 32 mu u bar l mu u bar l and divided by d square is there and rho g is there so rho g d square rho g d square p1 minus p2 by rho g is equal to 32 mu u bar l divided by rho g d square and this is also denoted by h f h suffix x f okay f for friction h for head okay this is called head loss because there is you can see that this is a positive quantity the right hand side is positive quantity that means p1 is greater than p2 so in the direction of the flow though the diameter remains same this is a circular pipe so diameter remains the same still you can see that there is a loss of pressure because p2 is less than p1 and then only you have got getting this positive quantity okay you are getting this positive quantity because there is a difference between p1 and p2 p2 is less than p1 that means in the direction of the flow pressure decreases pressure is going on reducing in the direction of the flow actually that is not desired okay so this is what this is called pressure loss of pressure and whenever you are dividing this differential pressure by rho g it becomes pressure head in your earlier classes you have seen what is called uh, what is uh, pressure rate what is uh, velocity or kinetic head etc so this knowledge uh, you gained in your earlier classes anyway so so this formula p1 minus p2 divided by rho g is equal to this much 32 mu u bar l divided by rho g d square this formula is called Hagen Poisson formula okay so okay so this is the end of this lecture uh, uh, just after uh, this class or this video you will see flow between two parallel plates okay anyway this is the end of the lecture and uh, okay thank you thank you for watching this video have a nice day